Hi, hello. My name's Robin Lambert. I'm 18 years old and living with cerebral palsy. But you guys know me as the T-Rex and you're watching my T-Rex life. Okay guys, so on Sunday night, I had the best surprise ever. Uh, my dad surprised me with tickets to see Oprah. Um, she's in Perth right now for the evening with Oprah Talks. And um, I've been a massive fan of Oprah ever since I was little. Like every time I was, oh hello. <laughs> um, every time I was off school for holidays or like for surgery or something, I'd always watch the Oprah show and I just like loved her so much. Um, the evening with Oprah uh, show wasn't like a like Oprah show that she used to do. It was basically just a talk on um, happiness and, and what is happiness and her life story and um, what's led her to find happiness and, and where she seeks happiness and, and her sort of her life mantras and that kind of stuff. I feel like I'm in the perfect place in my life um, for me to go and see that show and what she said just really spoke to me. Um, and there's kind of about five things that she said that I want to discuss with you guys today in relation to having a positive approach to disability um, and just sort of in relation to my life, um, where I am now, what I want to achieve and what kind of things I want to set in place within my own life. Um, so the first thing that she said that sort of really spoke to me was um, about passions and work and sort of finding happiness and that was um, when you use your passions um, to serve others then that's when you're really validated and on your way to finding happiness and that's something that I've definitely noticed within my own life um, as much as I loved making videos I've always loved making videos like even when I was little with my friends I'd make like stupid Sherlock Holmes parodies and like stop motion videos and stuff like that but ever since I've started using my videos as a platform to talk about disability and positivity and I've used it to raise awareness and you know spread a message of focusing on ability rather than disability and using it to educate that and from that getting feedback from you guys and from able-bodied people saying how I've helped to change their mindset on disability um, that's when I really started feeling that what I was doing means something and that it's actually making me really happy. Um, don't get me wrong, like I love editing and I love putting these videos together and um, you know, part of it is kind of selfish, I do just like talking and, and getting my opinions out there, but what really makes it worth it is your guys' feedback and the discussions that we have and you know, being able to, you know, really change people atti people's attitudes and perspectives towards disability. Um, the next thing she talked about was actually Newton's third law of motion, and that is for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. And she was saying how she used to sort of think of that as if, oh, you know, if you gossip about someone behind their back, they're going to find out and then they're going to gossip about you, and I can deal with that, like, you know, whatever. But then she looked more deeply into it and sort of found that no, it's actually the energy that you put into things is the energy that you will get back. And I definitely feel that this is um, reflective in sort of the way that we talk about disability and the types of discussions that we have and the way that we seek change for people with disabilities. I think if we put in positive energy into our discussions and we're focusing on ability and highlighting people that are doing well and highlighting companies that are, you know, trying to up representation for um, people with disabilities or are trying to make their spaces more accessible, then that is the energy we're going to get back. If companies can see that um, we're really, really loving, um, you know, them showing models with disabilities in their catalogues, and not just us, but like able-bodied people, and you know, that's making us feel really energized and excited and, and really wanting to get behind and sort that, um, support that brand, then other companies are one of going to be in on that. Rather than, whether, rather than when we're just sort of criticizing companies for not doing that and then putting them on the defensive straight away. I always think you should be pro something as opposed to being anti something. I think you should be pro accessibility, you should be pro inclusion, um, you know, pro diversity 
rather than being sort of like anti disability discrimination. And don't get me wrong, like I know you've kind of got to highlight the negatives um, to make people aware of them, but I think people are becoming more and more aware and now what we've really got to do is we've really got to celebrate those people that are doing it right. Uh, and the next thing that she said was, you know, try and take responsibility for the energy you bring into a certain space. And especially for the online um, disabled community that we have going on and the online discussions and forums and all of that kind of thing, I think that's really important to remember. Now I know sometimes that even I just want to turn on the camera and I just want to rant and get things off my chest and, you know, just be a bit like, Ugh. but I think that if you're pumping positive energy into something, then again, that's what you're going to get back. That's what the universe is going to throw to you. Um, I'm not a religious person, but I do believe in like, you know, the forces of the universe and, and what you put out there is what you're going to get back. And I think that again, it's really just important to highlight people that are doing well, companies that are doing well, um, things that are going right, ways that we can make things better rather than sort of being like, oh, everything sucks, this is terrible, blah, 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 blah. Um, and the last two things that she discussed that I want to bring up is a saying that is, um, I am the cast captain of my soul and the master of my fate. Um, and that basically means, you know, at the end of the day, you're the only person that you control and you're the only person that you can have a direct impact on and that you've got to take responsibility for the changes that you can make to um, benefit yourself and not only that, but more importantly, benefit others. Um, you know, while there's a lot of things that, you know, can be seen as working against people with disabilities, if you're willing to put in the effort and, and, and you know, the energy into, you know, changing perspectives and uh, perceptions and, um, you know, challenging things, then, you know, that is, I think, going to make you the happiest. Um, if you want to, and also, if you want to achieve something or if you want to change something for yourself, then you're the only person you can rely on. I mean, it's awesome to have a great support network around you, and I know I certainly do, and that makes a 100% difference. But at the end of the day, like I said, you're the only person you can control. And that also means that you're the only person that's really, you know, holding yourself back. Um, and I honestly believe that if you're willing to adapt and you're willing to put in the time and the energy, then you can chase after your dreams and you can make, you know, those come true. And the last thing was that you become what you believe. And I think in terms of disability, I think in terms of confidence, I think in terms of, um, you know, um, self-acceptance and, and positivity, that is certainly, certainly true. Um, I haven't always been a confident person. I haven't always been as happy with who I am and um, I haven't always been as comfortable talking about disability and my situation and my life um, but I kind of just made sure that my thoughts um, were progressing towards the, those kind of ways I was thinking about myself in a better life I was trying to put out a more um, confident energy and you know, it's, I think it comes back to that whole kind of fake it till you make it thing. If you're trying to put your energy and focus into being happy and being, um, you know, having gratitude and having acceptance and, you know, all of that kind of thing, then that is where your life is ultimately going to go. Um, I can honestly say that I'm happier, more confident and all of that jazz than I've ever been in my life and that's, it hasn't just happened, that's something that I've really worked towards, um, you know, I've been trying to set myself goals and really trying to push myself to accomplish all of the things that I've dreamed for myself um, and I think I'm at sort of a really crucial part in my life already even though that I'm 18 years old um, and where that I'm making decisions that are really going to affect my future and are really going to help to carve out the path that I want for myself. So anyway guys, if this evening with Oprah Thing ever comes to your city, I would 100% recommend to go and see it because I just came back feeling so energized and feeling so pumped and so positive and like BOOM I'm going to take on the world! Um, but most importantly guys, remember to leave your comments down in the comment section below, remember to like and subscribe, 
but above all else, remember to stay shiny, guys, because I love you.